everyone loves the feeling of opening up clue scrolls and seeing what you get in hopes of getting a huge reward. In this video, I'm going to aim to spend the entire day collecting loot chests and runescape that I can fit in my inventory. So we're not going to be talking about like crystal chests or the muddy chests or any in-game chests. I'm specifically aiming to collect as many different type of loot chests, if you will, that can be put in my inventory and opened up for loot. Now, of course, there are going to be some that I can't get either from Treasure Hunter or past events, and there's actually a ton of items that can be looted like a loot chest per se. I thought about including like implings because they technically can be looted or geodes from mining, but they're kind of a bit far from a chest. So researching this took quite a while because while the wiki does show things like chests, a lot of these items are sacks, bags, chests, and there's not really one page that shows like all the lootable items in RuneScape. So to get a full inventory of different ones, I had to do a lot of digging and I asked like five people and eventually I came up with a good list to fill out my entire inventory so let's go get these now. So some of the loot chests were pretty simple and pretty easy. For instance I needed to get every single clue that's easy, medium, hard, elite, and master. Now the first four clues I had them all in my bank so all I had to do was basically go and do four clues and I'd have each one of those. But when it got tough is needing a master clue. I did not have a master clue and to get them you kind of have to do other clues so I ended up having to go and do a bunch of elite clues and I did get it pretty much on raid so I only had to do like five or six elite clues which was not too bad and we got the master clue out of the way now we have every single clue after this the next ones were pretty easy because I decided to go with some troves I had a few of the lower level ones in my bank but then I wanted to get each of the highest tier trove so I went and I got the tier three trove from Croesus got one from Glacier normal mode killed a Carapec normal mode and then I had a Zuck one in my chest so it was really easy to get all those and I didn't want to do every single trove because the lower tiers there's like uh, I feel like there's like three of each that's 12 and I didn't want my inventory to just all be troves so I decided we'll just stick with six I think that's a good amount another item that I got from Premier Club I actually claimed a mystery like loot box from Premier Club that I thought I'd include but the bad thing is I couldn't bank it so this entire video I just had it chilling in my inventory uh, because I could I was not able to bank it so I had to do basically everything with it and that meant I couldn't load presets so it was kind of annoying to do like some of the PVM coming up but uh you know I wanted to keep that for for this to see what was in it. I did also get the wilderness chest which is gotten from going in the wilderness and completing a slayer task that didn't take too long just had to complete one task from the wilderness and then I got the wilderness sacks which are from the new wildy flash event so I waited and I did a special event which was the evil blood tree and I was able to get the very uh sacky sack of rewards I think it's called and then the smaller sack so we got both of those as well which can obtain some really good items worth over like 1 billion GP. I also got the regular casket, which I just bought from the GE, which you all know about that. It's a very old item in RuneScape. You can get it from like killing rock crabs. And then something I figured out was there's actually something called a casket salvaging scrimshaw, which allows you a chance to get uh, oak, teak, and mahogany caskets from fishing which are these caskets that include a variety of things I did not even realize this existed uh, but I did go and do some fishing and it didn't take too long I think I got a little bit lucky but I did get all three of those caskets as well so it's gonna be interesting to see what's in those I did end up having a tetra compass in my bank so I was able to craft that and then go follow it and pretty quickly we got the ancient casket which is another great item to open here that actually can obtain uh, Tony's Matic, which is worth around 8 billion GP. So that would be absolutely amazing if we could get that. And then after this, I almost had everything, but I still needed to go and do some elite dungeons. Now there's something called the elite dungeon chest, which if you don't know, you get this if you do every single elite dungeon minus Zamrock in a row. So you have to start with ED1, then do ED2, then do ED3, and then the ambassador at ED3 will drop this elite dungeon chest. And this chest can actually get you some nice things. It has a chance to get some of the different things across the elite dungeons like the draconic energy or the ancient scales. So it's a good bit of money added on if you decide to do all three elite dungeons in a row. So I ended up doing that and it didn't take too long. I had to kind of refresh myself on some elite dungeons because I hadn't done a few of them in quite a while, but it went pretty smoothly. And uh, there we go. We got the elite chest. I also ended up buying the bag of clues, which 
actually needed to be the box of clues. There's two of them. I got confused, uh, but what I really wanted was the box of clues, which I fixed that later. And it's just something as a clue reward that you can open up and get a different type of clue each time. So I bought that. And then we have our mystery box. And then finally, I did giant mimic at every level. So beginner, medium, hard, and elite, uh, because I had to do this last because these you cannot bank. So I didn't want to have to keep four items in my inventory this entire time. So I did those last and there we go. We've got an entire inventory of different loot chests across RuneScape. Now we're going to open them up and see what they have. All right, guys, it's the moment you've been waiting for. We're about to open all of these chests. Make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. And let's see. So first we have to put these in some of these in the bank um, because we essentially can't open them all at once. We have the mimic chest first. Let's open them. One Slayer VIP ticket. All right. Interesting. Second one, five rubies. Nice. Large loot chest, 20,000 coins. Um, I guess I'll put my put my money in the bank so I can uh, remember my coins here. So 20K. And let's keep going. The huge loot chest, 60K coins. Now this I actually got from uh, Premier Club and I thought it was interesting, so I'm gonna include it in here. Let's open it up, see what we get. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, cash bag. Uh, we got a lamp. All right, whoops, that was a fail. We've got the box of clues now. I knew I was getting them mixed up. Let's open this up and we get a medium clue and we get a hard clue. All right, now for the troves, I'm just gonna go pretty fast on these to see see what we can get. Uh, some royal dragon leather, super attacks, medium or calcum salvage. And I'm interested in these. I'm very interested in these these uh, fishing caskets. So oak casket, some coins, 12.3k. Teak casket. All right, we got a divine swordfish bubble. Nice. All right, time for the last one, the Mahogany Casket, and we got more coins, 41k. I accidentally took all my coins out again. I'll add it up at the end, though. All right, so this is what we have so far. Let's move on to some of the other ones. Easy Clue. Oh my gosh, a Master Clue from an Easy Clue. That is rare. That's like 1 in 50. I mean, I'll take it. I will definitely take that. 17k and a Master Clue. Let's go for the Medium. 84k green dragon hide body and some teleports all right all right hard clue time three ancient pages wow those are cheap those are definitely much cheaper now okay uh elite casket time oh we got another master clue and i'm gonna run out of space here but uh, i'll make sure to get everything uh, out when we're done and let me put some stuff in the bank quick all right, time for the last clue, the master clue. 200K, nothing too crazy there. Uh, let's open up the first one, the normal one. And we got five obelisk shards, uh, which I believe can make one of the obelisk. A medium salvage here, a necronium, and a black salamanders. Okay, now this is the one that can give you something worth like two bill. So let's hope we get the dark onyx core. Okay, well, we did not, but we did get something for the collection log, Dragon Rider Boots, which I believe is a drop from KBD, but we got that, all right. Not too bad. Let's get the other ones out. We still have a few big ones to go. All right, it's time for the last one. So we have the normal casket, which isn't going to be much. We just got some coins, but that is, you know, an iconic item. And now it's time for the big boys. We've got the Wilderness Chest, which can give a bunch of stuff from Wilderness Slayer. So let's see what we can get. One Necronium Salvage, so 172k, so yeah, not, not too great there. Then we have the Elite Chest, which is from Elite Dungeons, which should give us some good, decent money here. All right, we got two Ancient Scales, which is like two mil, two Draconic Energy, and Blackstone Dragon Tips. Nice, nice, that's pretty good. Now it's time for the last and final casket, the Tetra Compass. Let's see if we can get Tony's Matic worth like 8 billion GP. Here we go, open it up. And we get an elite clue, two, uh, two complete tomes, which is a nice amount of XP, and a bunch of other, uh, other archeology span relics and stuff. So not too shabby, nothing really worth that much here. Um, we can, we can take these because these are what's essentially all the money here. 
uh, is these little things. I don't think any of this is really, really worth anything. I don't think you can sell any of this here. Um, but yeah, there we go. Now let's get a price check of everything and see how much we made. All right, so the first price check here, probably the biggest price check, we have 5.5 mil. The Elite Chest and Tetra Compass pretty much carried this here. Not actually bad from the Tetra Compass. I, we didn't even get a single fortunate from our clues, which is uh, unfortunate. Then we got all these clue scrolls as well. And then let's go to the second price check. All right, so the last price check, just a few little things here and some cash, about one mil. So we made about six to seven mil doing this. Was it worth it? Uh, probably not worth it with the time it took to collect everything, but we didn't get too lucky. But I think it was interesting to see all the items that could be opened in RuneScape and how much you could potentially get from them. I mean, we did have chances at like billions of GP worth of items. We just didn't get lucky this time, but... If you guys want to see something like this again with maybe more of each, let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.